Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our Harvest Festival. This year we appreciate things are a little bit different and I know everyone has been working hard on their own parts to contribute to a very special online service. A huge thank you to Rev Richard for contributing to the service today and to staff for working hard to create a new version of Harvest. Thank you for all your kind donations, which Rev Richard will deliver to the charity Hope in Worksop. I'll now hand over to Red Rev Richard to introduce our worship. Hello everyone and welcome to Cookney School's Online Harvest Festival. My name is Rev Richard. We normally host you all here in St Mary's Church for this service. But as this event is unfortunately not possible this year, we're hosting this service online so we can all watch in our homes and classrooms. And I know that the children, as usual, have some wonderful harvest songs prepared for us. Before we start our service today, I want to thank you all so much for the harvest gifts that you have donated. They've been gathered together here and added to the gifts given by the St Mary's Church family. All this food is going to be donated to Hope Community Services in Worksop. I'm going to hand over now to our school children who are going to lead us in our worship today. As we go through our worship today, there'll be some words on the screen. If I say the words in white type, can you respond with the words in gold type? Can you do that for me? That's great. I always start my worships with these words, and you can start your worships with these words as well. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We also always start our worship together by lighting three candles. Perhaps you'd like to ask your teacher if you could have three candles for your classroom worship. As we light our three candles, we remember the Christian belief that God has three persons. God the Father... God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. We also remember that our school motto has got three words, dream, believe, achieve. Thank you. 
we're going to sing you thank you for almost everything. Thank you so much to Holbeck and Sherwood classes for their songs. I don't know if you or any of your families are farmers. I don't know if you've been working hard to bring in the harvest at this time of year. I've just been out in my garden collecting some of the last things that are growing there, probably for the last time this year. This is the time of year where traditionally we thank God for everything that's been grown during the year. But actually, we're so fortunate in this country, aren't we? We have food in our shops no matter what time of year it is. So many people work so hard to bring us the food we need at all times of the year. But because we're so fortunate, that also means that we can be really generous with all of the good things that we have, perhaps helping those out who are more in need than we are. We're going to hear a Bible reading now about how to be generous. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the family inheritance with me. But Jesus said to him, For a new sent me to be a judge or arbitrator over you. And Jesus said to them, Take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for one's life does not consist the abundance of possessions. Then Jesus told them a parable. The land of Richmond produced abundantly, and he thought to himself, What should I do, for I have no place to store my crops? Then he said, I will do this, I will pull down my barns and build larger ones, and I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life is demanding of you and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So, so it is with those who store up treasures for themselves but are not rich toward God. 
Thank you so much, Langwith Class, for the harvest wrap. So our Bible reading that we heard earlier was about being generous. It's great when we receive a gift from someone, isn't it? That's a really nice feeling. There's lots of ways, however, that we can be generous. I'm going to give us five examples of ways to be generous today. And I'd like you to think about which of these gifts would be your favourite to receive and which would be your favourite to give. The first way we can be generous is by giving kind words. Someone might say to you, you're a really good friend. A second way of being generous is spending quality time. Someone might say to you, would you like to play on the field after school? A third way to be generous is by giving gifts. Maybe someone might say to you, I'm going to the shop, can I buy you a chocolate bar? Or there are helpful actions. Someone might say, I'll wash up the dinner plates today. And we can't do this one outside our households at the moment, but a fifth way to be generous is through hugs. When social distancing is over, you might like to say to someone, I'm giving you a big hug. So there you go, five gifts, five ways of being generous. What I'd like you to do now is look at those five and think in your heads which of these acts of generosity would you most like to receive and which one do you like to give the most? Here's some music to help you think about it. <laughs> little game there and I hope it's helped you think about gifts but also about how we can be generous in our lives. In the story that we heard Jesus tell earlier in the Bible, God said to the man in the story, you fool. A fool is someone who fails to act sensibly, who does the wrong thing through a lack of judgment. It can be quite a harsh word. Why did God tell the man in the story that he was a fool? Well, it was because the man had forgotten to be generous. When he had had a good harvest, he had only thought about how he could serve himself rather than being generous to others. Jesus told the people to be rich towards God. 
by which he meant live a life that's pleasing to God by being generous to others rather than just serving yourself. Harvest is a time when we are thankful for all the good things we receive, but also a time to think about how we can be generous in sharing what we have with others. So going back to what we thought about at the beginning, let's remember those gifts we said we enjoyed receiving and those gifts we enjoyed giving. Let's take a moment to think about how we can live generously in our lives.
Dear God, thank you for all our beautiful plants and insects. Thank you for all the seeds and water that helps plants to grow. Thank you for fishermen and women who go out and catch us a tasty dish. Thank you for shopkeepers who give us our food. Thank you for farmers and their machinery that make our crops as, as successful as they can be each year. Thank you to the bees and all the creatures that pollinate our food. Thank you for getting us food, even when climate change is getting in the way. Thank you for harvest. Amen. Thank you for the right balance of rain, good soil and sunlight to grow on crops. Thank you for the, to the hard-working farmers around the world. Thank you to the shop workers who sell us our food and the adults who cook our food. We pray that across the world people will help out to stop climate change. We pray that there will be less deforestation around the world. Amen. We now say a full prayer. Oh God, bless our soul that working together and praying together we may learn to serve thee and serve one another. For Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we give to those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. teachers who have led us and taken part in our worship today. 
we hope you all have enjoyed our harvest service and I hope we can see each other again soon. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all and remain with you always. Amen.